Let's get to your oddly specific prediction column, which is uh, a lot of fun, where you go through every team in the NHL. So all 32 teams get a hyper specific yeah. prediction. Now, too some specific. of them. We can just say that's it's hyper too specific. Much. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now some of them are pretty cool. Like some of them are of the point where you're like, okay. I think he's Jack Hughes is going to win the Hart Trophy. So you know it's 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 like big picture stuff that that, and then you have some that are such like they're, they're so specific on a date or what a guy's going to do or this. I think for Ottawa, you said Dominic Kubalik is going to score uh, like October twenty first. Yeah, like yeah. You so didn't know that? Right. Sorry, uh, spoiler it's a alert. Very uh, specific prediction. Look, anybody can do and and. I'm not knocking the people who do predictions. I love them. I, I sit here and devour every prediction column, every team that's doing their 10 bold predictions and, and that sort of thing. I'm in. Um, but it's one thing to predict, oh, this guy's going to hit this milestone or, you know, this guy's going to get to the, that's great. But uh, <laughs> nice work on the, on the super. That's a the great, that's, that's a great addition. This breaking is a, for news. those that's who are good. not watching on YouTube, uh, uh, thanks to our production team for adding a ticker yeah. that the bottom says breaking news. Dominic Kubelik will score October 21st. Can we add uh, to the ticker as well? Uh, Jacob Markstrom will shut up the Toronto Maple Leafs on January 18th. <laughs> just put, just go through the prediction Must list. Credit Mac and do though. Okay, I don't want this to be yes. one of these things where the the aggregators get a hold of it and suddenly all my yeah, inside true. scoops are damn are aggregators. They keep taking the content. Any, anybody can just say somebody's going to get to a milestone. Somebody's going to do this or that. It takes a special kind of idiot, let's just say, <laughs> to get so specific that you pick the exact date that it's going to happen or the game that it's going to happen or the circumstances. And I, I'll be honest, people ask me every time this column goes out, they go, do you ever get any right? Not many. Now, I'll, I'll be real <laughs> honest with you. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm drilling down really specific here. Yeah. Most of them, I, I, at the end of the year, I'll, I'll do sort of a, a dive in and I'll say, look, man, here's the ones I was wrong. Here's the ones I was maybe a little close. Here's the ones I was really, really wrong. But every now and then I do get one right. Uh, and I got a streak of a couple of years of, of getting, uh, you know, real long shots where I called not just something that was unlikely to happen, but got the exact day that it was going to happen. So I'm feeling Can a give lot us of an pressure. Example? Yeah, th yeah, it was the shutout, right? Well, I, I, this all started and this was even before I was doing this column was was the Jacob Markstrom shutouts. I've been yes. summoning those for years, including this was going back six years ago. Now, I wrote a piece. And I said, Jacob Markstrom is closing in on the record for the longest streak without a shutout in his career because he was like 120 games in and didn't have a shutout. He got a shutout that night. And that was where I sort of say, because I had ended the column saying, hey, we all know what's going to happen tonight, right? It's, he's getting the shutout. But no, I'll, I'll give you the two that I've, I've had in the last couple of years, just give people a sense. Last year, I was looking at the stats. I love digging into the stats and finding weird stuff to inspire this. And I found that the LA Kings... Uh, it, two seasons ago, we're the only team that went the whole year without a misconduct. So I said, okay, this year, they're going to get one. They're going to get one misconduct wow. penalty, which, you know, that'd be an okay prediction on its own. But no, no. And I said, they're going to do it on Dustin Brown number retirement night. <laughs> Pittsburgh Penguins are in town. That's the night that the Kings are going to get their one misconduct penalty of the year. And it, people will remember that game because that was a game where uh, Sidney Crosby got kicked out of that game. And it was the first time in his entire career he had ever been ejected. But on the way out, he got a misconduct, and so did the so did somebody on the LA Kings. So I nailed that one. That was pretty impressive. But I don't think anything will ever top uh, two years ago, where I, I looked at the numbers and I realized that uh, there, a guy named Joel Hanley, he's a defensive <laughs> defenseman, seventh yes. defenseman on the Dallas Stars, and he was the the leader. He was like 60, 70 games into his career, had never scored a goal, and he was the current active leader among NHL players, most games played without a goal. And I said, he's getting the goal this year and he's going to get it in his 100th game. So I didn't call the date, but I said, oh, whenever night he plays his 100th game, get ready because it's Joel Hanley goal night. That's and so sure enough, and I'll be honest, I forgot about it. And then just one night, so my Twitter was blowing up with Dallas Stars fans. And I was going, what the heck is going on? What, what have I done to get on the radar of the Dallas Stars fan base? And they were going nuts because Joel Hanley had just 
on in his 100th game had just scored the goal, uh, which I think to this day is the only regular season goal he's ever scored um, in game number 100. Sean Stradamus should be your name. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm telling you, throw some spoiler tags on these. There's there's a good chance something in there is going to be right or not. So in you which got case, we'll delete this footage and we'll never show it to anyone. So you got the script for the NHL season then, right? Yeah. Like we're yeah. we're all into scripts now. Everything's I gotta scripted, be honest. everything's rigged. I, I I help I help write it. Uh they've <gasps> they've reached out to me and they're like, but, look, uh, can you can you do, you know, you got any tips? You know, what should we do? I'm always going like, hey, can we maybe change the Maple Leafs ending this year? It feels a little predictable. And they're like, no, you know, we're yeah, gonna stick with that, that one. But maybe some other things you wanna you wanna hit us up. I you know, I help out. I do what I can. Yeah, you know, me and Gary, we're we're tight. We're we're like that.